Hello everyone, welcome to statistics. So in the previous session, we'll move to all these things of your linear regressions. We understand what exactly the linear regression, what exactly your types of linear regression, like you are having a simple linear regression, you are having a, a multiple linear regression. Now in a today's session, you can observe we are in a Jupyter notebook. Let's start to understand how we'll be using a linear regressions algorithm on model to find out the accuracy to fit the model and how we be representing so the first thing we need to import the data for that we need to import uh, some libraries so import numpy as np numpy as np then let's move to import a pandas so import pandas as pd pandas as pd we need a matplot as well as because we need to work on some of the models on that so let's move to import that particular things import matplot P L O T plot lib matplotlib dot pi plot pi plot so matplotlib dot pi plot as plt so we already imported all this uh, libraries which is we feel it's needed for the linear regression we taken it it's need time to just importing all this thing in that particular time uh, let's move to the another thing like where we have to take the data so as i told you in a previously as well you guys like you can download any data to go out with any data set i downloaded one data set from the particular things you can go out with the uh, things where you will get the particular data sets if you google it in a kaggle so basically kaggle will provide a lot of data sets you can download any zip file on that just unzip it and you can use it so for you guys i already downloaded one data sets let's show you that that is a titanic data sets from the kaggle only i downloaded this if you want the same data set to practice the linear regression go ahead with the kaggle just log in and just go ahead with the data set basically this will be the statistic titanic data set so i use this data set to see that i just want it you take the properties of that and because i need a location on that okay like uh, what exactly the data sets names and from where it is stored so need to take the name of that only so remember that one thing whenever you save your particular jupyter notebook that linear regression i just save here so you need to save the data set also the same area if you changes the area it will be not reading the data set that you have to keep in your mind so let's move to load the data so i'm just want to load the data i just use d d equals to pd dot read so we already know that how to read the csv file we just go ahead read a csv csv it's because we need to read the csv file and then just paste uh, we just already copy titanic dot csv so this is how you need to read the so we read the particular file you can observe it here we just need to uh, enter this reading that file is done so suppose you need to see that particular file just nothing where you save it just go with that particular name you can see the all the list of the files whatever it's there 891 rows and 12 columns so this is what exactly all the values on that like whatever the values you have so you can see those particular values and suppose you need to see the uh, uh, first one so go with d dot head head on that so what happened the first five values it will be showing the all the first five values so this is how you need to uh, just go with the first to read the particular values because without reading the particular values you won't understand what exactly you need to go ahead with to go ahead to do that particular area you can take any variables on that whatever you want to use it now two things you need to uh, decide it for the x and y because you need to later you need to move to use those x and y so you can use anything from here what you want to decide it let's uh, decide it the things with the uh, s x will be your p class you can use the p class for the x we already have that p class right p class let's see that whatever the things are there from there we need to decide it so we just go with survived and p class okay so we just need to uh, go with x and y value so i'm just checking x equals to my data d and that i need to go with the survived here this thing you remember whatever the survived spelling you need to go with the c you can take it from here as well that is preference i used to do that i don't want to uh, do any syntax error on that particular so i just choose it from there i just copy 
and x is done go with the y so the y also the same way you need to go with the values what you exactly want like what you have to give for the y so i'm planning to give for the p class that's your wish what x and y you need to give for the accuracy for the linear regression so here i need to give this so run this your x and y is decided so now you can go ahead with the things of um, your scatter plots and then we can go to see that how we need to plot it in that way in the linear regression let's go with the plt dot scatter s k t t e r scatter and just pass x comma y whatever the x comma y now if you want to level up that you can level it if you don't want to level up you just go with the plt dot show here what happened is just show the plotting on that particular area it takes little bit of time to do the plotting you can observe the plots are done so this is how they will plot whatever the values because it's 0 1 3 that's why it's plotting in that way if it's a different type of values it will be plotting will be different so this is how you need to plot that particular area now what happened if you want to do any uh, changes on this font size if you want to go with the same singular line you can go ahead with that particular areas and constant on that or you can go ahead with the values on that as well so this is how you need to use it, that particular things on that now what happened we need to go with the regression as um, like if you want to fit it or uh, anything you need to go with the fit of those associate regressions like how you need to add that that is a main important thing you need to declare the variables on that before using that we need to import one more libraries we need to import here that is your states model library so let's import that import sta ts state models models dot api api s accept so this library you need to import it first before using that because before using your regression model you need to use that so when you use it it takes little bit time to run that particular model on that like particular library on that then we moving to creation the we need to creation also like the create the variables on that so let's move to create the variables when it's run for that time we can just move to create the variable yeah it's already run so move to create the variable i'm going with to create x i already taken so i'm just going with x1 so sm dot add because we need to create add constants you need to go with the add constant t a n t constant of your the values from where you need to take from x so i just use it i just run that particular area now uh, what exactly the regression model you need to do on this particular to do the fit right so for that what you already go with the constant let's move to the result so we can go with uh, your final so final equals to sm dot ols that is your ols that is uh ols is a method or you can use this is used for just uh, go ahead with the things to use it so we already have the values that is your y comma your x1 go ahead y x1 because now before that we are going with your x and y but now what happened we just change it on that let's fit it now fit we use a fit method to fit that particular and just see that with the summary so final dot summary s u m m a r y summary so let's run it takes little bit time to give you the all the summary of your model so this is what the first regression things we done it now so here what happened ols regression riddle this is a one type of regression model we just go ahead with that where we just use it in this particular area now if you want it just take this particular fields on that and just go ahead here and we just go with uh, your linear thing linear right so what happened if you wait for a while so here what happened finals things and final deviations on that and then we are moving towards to the things where we are having to plot this particular thing so whatever you are taking you can plot it you can see the particular graph on that so this is how you need to use to find the linear regressions model in a statistic. Thank you.